In this vlog, I seek to answer the question, what is the biggest wheels you can roll on an aluminum frame, old school, specialized diverge? Answer, as clear as you thought. Some of y'all might be asking, well, why did I want to run bigger tires on my Diverge anyway? The answer is really simple. Number one, Atlanta has really, really bad roads. And even our bike trails are a lot of mixed terrain. So you can be riding on pavement, you can be riding on asphalt, really bad asphalt, or you can be riding in straight up really rough gravel. And I wanted to be able to maximize the distance that I could ride utilizing the safest trails that we have here in Atlanta. And just in case you're wondering, the new aluminum Diverge can run a 47 millimeter tire in the 700 C wheel. And in 650B, it can run a 2.1 inch tire. So you got plenty of room for some big tires with the new Diverge. But if you got an old Diverge like mine, what can you do? And look, just like clockwork, here's a screaming example of why I wanted bigger tires. Wow, that pavement just turned into gravel. Oh look, it just turned into really chunky gravel. I'd be lying if I didn't say I almost crashed on this a couple times when I was running my 700 C wheels. There's some gravel, y'all. And the trails I ride are about 50-50 mix of both. And I gotta close my phone so I don't crash. Whoa. <laughs> So I did some experimenting and I went to the Facebook marketplace and I decided that I was going to try 650B. I got super lucky and I found this wheel set that's right here on my bike, but I didn't know if it was gonna work or not. So I did a lot of measuring and a lot of measuring and a lot of looking and a lot of calculations and a bunch more measuring. I just said, screw it. I'm gonna go out here, buy these wheels and I pray that they fit. And not only did they fit, they came out like this. Well, so maybe saying that they fit is a stretch of the imagination to some degree. They fit in terms of, can I ride on them? Absolutely. Do they ride good? Absolutely. Have I had any problems? No. But according to what I read on a lot of uh, cycling forums, you should leave a little bit more space than I did because, you know, if you're going to ride through mud, if you're going to run through anything that's going to stick to your tires, if you get a bent rim or something, it's going to rub. There's literally no room. Look at this. So it fits with a very, very, very small margin for error. Now, that being said, how does it ride? The ride is amazing. Going from 700C to 650B and going to a uh, 48 millimeter tire is just, oh my God, the plushness and the ability to ride over all types of challenging terrain. I mean, it's literally like going from, you know, driving a sports car to driving like a crazy uh, uh, monster truck or something like that. It's just incredible the amount of versatility that my bike has now. Like, look, right now I'm riding on a terrible, typical terrible Atlanta road. And now I'm about to go straight into this gravel. No problems, no worries. Look at that. So let's go ahead and go into the specs real quick. Uh, I'm not really a specs guy, but we're gonna talk about the specs real quick on these. Specs. This modification has been my favorite to date. Number one, I was gonna get rid of this bike and get a 3T because I wanted to run bigger wheels and I you know, didn't really know how far I could go with these bigger wheels, but I'm glad I kept it and I'm glad I did what I did. I got the Panerasi Gravel King SKs, uh, 650B, 1.9 inches, which is roughly about 48 millimeters from what I calculated, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then I got the WTB 
uh, STI 23s. Tried to Google these rims, couldn't really find much information about them, but I'm telling y'all, this setup is mega amazing. And I think this is the limit to what you can do on an aluminum 2019 or early, early model. Train's coming! Damn it! Damn you, train! Well, I am in the train's hood, so there you go. Anyway, that's the limit to what you can do, I feel like, on a 2019 aluminum uh, Diverge. As you can see, the tolerances are very, very close. There's really not a room to clear much mud and stuff. You, you, you know, ride some really sticky, caked up mud. But there is room if you ride a bunch of gravel and a bunch of dusty stuff and asphalt, like I ride. On the back, if you look here, look at my seat stay, you can see that there is room. You know, it's not rubbing but it is close and there's a very small margin for error and then on the chain stay right here as you can see it is pretty darn close but i feel like for what you get all in all with this setup oh i'm so glad i kept this bike put these tires on it and then go and spend a lot of money and get a 3t which is what i kind of really wanted to get but now i love the way this bike looks look how awesome it looks all right so let's wrap this up before i get kidnapped or mugged back here should you try this i would say it depends on what you want out of your bike if you have an older model diverge like mine aluminum frame and you want to be able to ride further safer and more safer safer and more comfortable and have more of a plush ride then i say you should absolutely try this you don't have to go as extreme as i did and go with the 53 1.9 inch uh tire you can obviously go down to a smaller tire but switching to 650B, the ride is better, I feel like. The handling is better. Uh, oh, I forgot about the elephant in the room. Dropping down closer to the ground. Did I lose that much clearance? I don't feel like I did. I mean, I typically watch my uh, crank pet, my crank ends anyway, and I never really have any contact or hit anything. So I don't have any issues with that. But yeah, you do lose like a little bit of height on your bottom bracket and your crank arms. So there's that. Hold on, let me, let me change the way my legs are. Oh my God. Ugh. Can you still see me? Yeah, you can. All right. So yeah, you lose a little bit of height in your bottom bracket. But I think overall it's very worth it because you get a more agile turn, I feel like. The, the way that the bike handles is just razor sharp. Uh, I feel like the center of gravity may be a little bit lower, so it feels like it's more stable to me. Oh, especially over the really rough stuff, it's really, really good. Now, it's really compliant, and it's just like, man, I can go so much further on my local trails that look like this and ride a lot safer because when i was on my other tires those 38s on the 700 c's i almost crashed several times because it, it would sink into the surface that i was riding over instead of floating over it and with these i get a lot of float my bike looks gnarly i'm just super happy with this yes you should absolutely try it but try it at your own risk i'm your brother reza karate life karate life with the y like subscribe comment all that i hope you can hear me because it's really loud and I think another train might be coming soon. And I'm going to get out of here before I get mugged. So I'll see you on the next vlog. Peace. Yeah.